tenth victory for T1. The most famous League of Legends or the greatest player of all time. <laughs> and they look at him run. They win their tenth title ten years after the start of LCK at the at the Kintex Arena where LCK finals first began. And it's just so poignant to see Faker lift his tenth trophy. With a group of players that he built around him. It didn't work out last year. They weren't able to lift it then. They weren't able to take that world's title. But it's all coming full circle. The perfect season. 20 and 0. T1 have done it. Claim their ninth title! Caps puts his hand on the shoulder and can't help but just smile, right? T2 have been through so much together. A new iteration of G2. They were the backbones. Rogue is down! T1 is next! And as they surround the trophy they've raised eight times before Europe, give it up for your LEC champions, G2! Those three alongside Captain Yankos lift their trophy in 2022. The largest shoe known to me. And EG will begin their new reign. It is the fastest finals ever. And it never felt this good to be bad. Evil geniuses are your new LCS champions. Teams in the LCS, 3-0 Cloud9, 3-0 Team Liquid, 3-0 100 Thieves. The evil geniuses have changed the game. The evil geniuses' reign of terror has begun. A new era for the LCS, a new flag posted in the LCS arena, and a new champion will take their bow. 100 Thieves became the fifth team to ever win it last year, and now evil geniuses just became the sixth in incredible fashion. Hoist that trophy, boys! You deserve that! A new style, but once more, Royal Never Give Up are your LPL Spring 2022 champions! And what a way to finish things out! The Emperor of Spring himself showing once more why he is considered the best Vex in the league. What he can do when given the opportunity. And RNG will get to defend their title at MSI. Unbelievable playoffs here from RNG. The run, managing to make it through the upper bracket last time around. They had to go the long way. They had to go through that lower bracket. This time around, not that. This time around, they go through the upper bracket and they win a full five game series against Top Esports on the cusp of being reverse swept, no less. But you can see the joy on their faces. Another trophy for Royal Never Give Up. <laughs> Surprised by the explosion there, but look, I have to say for RNG, it was hard fought, it was not easy. You can see the Top Esports exploited a lot of the weaknesses that we know exist in RNG but being able to fight against those demons, fight into the later portion of the game and claw things back against top esports. RNG rightfully deserve to represent the LPL at MSI. Señores, asesinato doble para Falkins. Están todos muertos, señores, y tenemos un exterminio para ti, Base, que en su primer split jugando en LLA, el mismo split en el que logra subir a la liga orgánicamente ganando la LF, la Nacional Mexicana, será también el split en el que ganen la LLA. Señoras y señores, aquí hay sueños, aquí hay metas, aquí hay campeón de
Y quiero decir algo. Hace mucho tiempo que viví esta final. Hace mucho tiempo que vi esta rivalidad. Y hoy día, la escuadra de Estralie se convierte en un clásico. Y ahora, es, es nuestro campeón. Que no iba más alto. Neco dispuesto. Es tri, es tri, es tri, es tri. Ah, Red, es tri. Campeando se me va. que a gente teve, chefe, a gente pediu, a gente falou, cinco jogos, e a gente tem a Red mais uma vez se sagrando campeã, duas etapas na sequência, vieram defender o título e levaram, que trajeto pela, pela chave inferior que eles fizeram. É uma história que não vai se repetir tão cedo, um time que veio desacreditar o nosso prêmio CBLOL também, que formação vão representar mais uma vez o Brasil, chefe? E estão lá com a taça. É o momento, é agora. Torcida, Ruiva Matilha. A Red é tricampeã do CBLO. Tá aí. Vai levar mais um para a prateleira de títulos. Essa equipe tão jovem e como o Aegis falou na abertura do dia de hoje, muitas vezes desacreditada. Mas tá aí o porquê você tem que acreditar na Red Kennedy. O equipe que vem junta há anos e continua sendo cada vez mais vitoriosa. Oh! Oh! oh Kissei! What was that? That's a beautiful flip and that might be the fight that wins you this championship. They're going to go on through as the Poon answers back with his own. But half is taking out Puma. Bio's getting low. He's not got the Undying Rage Kisei's anymore. just doing Kipun's it. Kipun's gone gold and Kisei's doing it on his own. Double kill here for Kisei. Kevy's got a triple. Like it's one. Tally against the world. I don't think these bombs are enough. Kisei goes in one more time with the chains. They're onto the Nexus Tides. Order Order done it. For the first time ever are going to win their own championship titles. They have dethroned the era of legends. They are your new rising stars of Oceania. In order to say what super team, it's us. We're going to South Korea. They go all the way to five games and they dethrone the Kings before they can be crowned. A team built to be a super team, a team built to say we will win it all. 19 and two during the regular season, a team that looked untouchable, unfathomable. Best of fives, we live for them. Two best of fives in playoffs, but this game five did not go their way. Pure jubilation, shock. I don't think it's sunk in. Order have actually won a championship. I'm not sure Order believed that they were in the finals until they won that game. They were so in the moment, they were so in every game as it happened. And remember that we know them as a calm team, right? Absolutely. Not a lot of emotions come out of the players of... Ve 2022 kış mevsimi şampiyon olmayı başaran ekip Fesbey Wildcats yavaş yavaş da KMF'ye ambargo koymaya başlıyorlar çünkü geçen senede 3-1 kazandılar Fenerbahçe'ye karşı. Ferit iki kere bu seride bir önceki maçta da çarp hatası yaptı yani istediği çarpı yapamadı. Kadim ejderler. Evet ve kupa etrafında toplandı Fesbey Wildcats oyuncuları 2022 kış mevsimi şampiyonu Fesbey Wildcats. Playoff'ları da 6-0 geçmiş oldular böylece. Gerçekten çok dominant, çok etkileyici, çok hak edilmiş bir şampiyon. Ve Farfetch'in röportajı hatırlayalım. Bu sezon MSI'da geçen seneki performansımı unutturacağım, zayıf performansımı unutturacağım dedi. Bakalım başarabilecek mi? Fesfey Valkes bu sefer MSI'ye çok daha hazır görünüyorlar. Ve Chief Cup vô địch VCS mùa xuân 2022 gọi tên Game Esports. Một ván đấu gọi tên kia già thật sự. Nhà vô địch. Họ đã để lỡ mất chiếc cúp ở mùa đông 2021. Nhưng qua tới mùa xuân với một khởi đầu mới thì Gary Sport đã khác hoàn toàn. Mata Minion, 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 M
倒させないいやデトネーションかすみがうまいなんというゲーム5勝利したのはデトネーションオーカスミーとなりましたー最後の集団戦何がありました<笑>パズが耐えてハニーが前に出てた名城出そうとあのあれなんですよ The collapse in last Nexus turret on. You can see Rush is deleted in this one. PSG, that's the go button, turning it on, keeping everybody locked up. And the Nexus is bare. PSG know they can take this game. They want to try and zone them off for the fight, and they have done it. PSG talent back to back to back champions. Once again, PSG dominate the PCS. This game was. A real nail biter for them. There was so much on the line. Their reputation as the best in the PCS, but they pull through in the end. And I just think this series shows you it's sometimes it's not about having the best players in every role, it's about the discipline. They just know how to how to play this game measured. They know how to use their cooldowns to their advantage. And I think honestly that it's it's I hate to say it, but CFO really saved their worst for last. This was a game where there were so many jitters and so many I, I, inexplicable attempts. They just needed to hang on to it for the late game, but this is a team that, that clearly still has some uh, issues in the clutch, in the moment when they have a, a tough series on their hands. PSG, they've been here before. They were even here last split up against the likes of Mega Bank Beyond Gaming. And, well, that is going to be it.